This goes out to all the hobby enthusiasts. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Melissa Villasenor SNL moments. Are you dressed up as Lady Gaga? <laughs> what? No, I just swore this for all my Melissa monsters out there. For this list, we're looking at the actress and comedian's most memorable sketches, characters, and impressions as part of the Saturday Night Live cast. Which Melissa moment stands out for you? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Melissa Villasenor on Oscar Snubs Following the 2020 Oscar nominee announcement, Melissa stopped by the update desk to share her thoughts on the movies that made the cut. Singing about Joker, The Irishman, Jojo Rabbit, and even Toy Story 4, it turns out that they all have one thing in common. Is white male rage, white male rage, white male rage. She even throws in a jab at the total absence of female directors from the nominees, too. World War One, cause of white male rage. But Greta Gerwig some cause of white male rage. The cheeriness of her performance juxtaposed with the serious context only makes it funnier. And unsurprisingly, it didn't take long for this segment to go viral. We were singing white male rage for at least a week after this episode aired. It seemed like it was just a description of the movie and then it took a weird turn into social commentary. <laughs> Aw, thanks! Number 9. Hoops. The premise is simple. Gino's girlfriend and her cousin star in a commercial for their hoop earrings business. Together, they give a rather passionate sales pitch explaining why hoops are suitable for all occasions. Confronting Barbara. Accusing Barbara. <laughs> crawling back to Barbara. And of course, Saturday, Saturday Mass. Mass. Joined by host Jennifer Lopez, this season 45 sketch is a classic. Melissa's performance is actually quite underrated, but she's just one of the reasons that we keep coming back to this sketch. All hoops are the highest quality things you're ever gonna see. Made from 100% metal. Her acting is so sincere, which only makes it all the more entertaining. She and JLo make a great double act, too. Who among us didn't have hoop earrings in a basket somewhere after watching this hilarious commercial? So come on down to hoops. You know what they say. The bigger the hoop, it hurts more. Number 8. Kid Genius Riley Jensen Thanks to Melissa's wide-reaching talents, it'd be impossible to pigeonhole her into any one character type. In this Weekend Update segment, she plays a five-year-old genius, much like those we've become accustomed to seeing on Ellen. You know what's really cool? The X-37B is one of the first unmanned spacecrafts to land horizontal on a runway. Whoa, cool. How does it do that? <laughs> She's got the voice, mannerisms, and intonation down to a T, and easily makes us feel for her when things don't go as planned. You're bombing! <laughs> this guy's going off script, Mom! Amy, you look like a normal kid, okay? I want you to know that! There have been plenty of occasions where Riley could have reappeared, but sadly, she didn't become a recurring character despite Melissa's impressive and convincing performance. I guess her mom stayed true to her word and sent her to live with her dad. No, he smokes! <laughs> Riley Jensen, everybody! I'm so sorry. I'm not smart, I'm just polite! Number 7. Hobby Song in a sketch both written and performed by Melissa, we got to see this versatile comedian flex her rapping skills. Catching up with that week's host, Emma Stone, Melissa details some of her favorite pastimes since the pair last met. I'm talking hobbies. Yeah. Creative, artsy type, that's me, all right. Little late at night, drawing with my Pixar light. Not only is the rap incredibly well written, but Melissa's dedication to her music video persona is outstanding as well. In fact, she's so good that she even convinces Stone to open up about her hobbies too. Got a tiny town full of figurines. I've been carving them since I was 15. Yeah. I just hope to see more of her content in the future because it's brilliant. Sketches like this only serve to prove why Melissa deserves more screen time. These are our hobbies. Number 6. Every Teen Girl Murder Suspect on Law & Order If you're a fan of Law & Order, Melissa's Brittany is a character you know only too well. I read it with my friends at the library, and then we went home and went right to bed. 
that's it, okay? Invited to talk about YA novels, she gradually and voluntarily confesses to a crime, making things take a dark turn. The performance is hilariously accurate, starting with her weak alibi, which gradually snowballs into a dramatic confession. Okay, fine! I shoved her in the trunk, but it wasn't my idea, okay? <laughs> Carrie said we should just put her in the trunk and drive around a little to teach her a lesson. That's all we did. Melissa plays the nervous teen so persuasively, yet she still makes us chuckle throughout the segment. It's so good that for a moment we forget we're actually watching SNL and not an episode of SVU. From a kid genius to a teen murder suspect, there is no role that Melissa can't nail. I feel so bad about it. All the terrible things I've done. But I guess the worst crime of all was being a bad friend. Number 5. Welcome to Hell You might be surprised to find this one on our list given that she only features briefly. But even so, her input is so great that we just had to give it some love. Why didn't you say something, baby girl? Well, dang, Double Daddy. We definitely did. For hundreds of years. Oh man. Melissa plays various women throughout history who have been subjected to society's misogynistic ways. Although she doesn't have many lines, her part certainly packs a punch. Welcome to hell. This is a new. No, 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 not new. Our situation's been a do since we got booze. I got to boo. She manages to be funny while still getting the song's point across. Of course, it would have been a missed opportunity if she hadn't shown off her vocal range as well. Her singing abilities and powerful belt help the ladies bring this number home. Nothing good in a well to hell. To hell. Number 4. Dirty Talk Getting intimate with host Donald Glover, Melissa plays a woman who doesn't really get the concept of dirty talk. It feels more like an improv comedy class, and even then, one that's gotten out of hand. Try like being, you know, a little mean to me, you know? <laughs> yeah. Come on, girl, hurt me. Mm. Your dad's dead. What? Why would you... <laughs> Baby. That wound's still fresh. I'm... She misinterprets all of his prompts, and it's absolutely hysterical. Showing just what a comedy genius she is, Melissa toys with the line of risque humor and an unassuming innocence. You're, you're a different criminal, baby. You're like, hands up. You're under arrest. But the jello pudding pops. No, don't be, don't be Bill Cosby. Don't ever be Bill Cosby in the bedroom. It's so outrageous, and she keeps us on edge as you simply cannot predict what she'll come out with next. We're thrilled to see her take the spotlight and show everyone just how talented she really is. Man, you're such a bitch sometimes. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No, don't be fat up. Number three, Dying Mrs. Gomez. You know Melissa is skillful since she got us all to forget for the duration of this sketch that apparently it's cool to hate on Nickelback. Never made it. Never made it? W what do you mean, never made it? I... I I never made it as a wise man. I couldn't cut it as a poor man still. <laughs> Playing an old lady on her deathbed, Mrs. Gomez's final moments are pretty rockin'. The premise is incredibly random, with Mrs. Gomez leading the others in a jam session to the band's 2001 hit How You Remind Me. Three more, we having fun, yeah, yeah. we're not quite sure what's going on, we still enjoy every moment of it. And we can't take our eyes off Melissa either. The best part is that even the Canadian rock band got in on the joke. Number 2. Her Lady Gaga Impression Melissa is a master of impressions, yet her skill set is painfully underused on the show. Take her Lady Gaga impression, for example. I know that you've been trying to get your Lady Gaga impression on the show for a while now. How dare you? I'm not doing an impression. I'm Melissa, and this is my famous Grammy preview. Okay, because you're wearing a Lady Gaga wig. Uh, this isn't a wig. I was born this way. Not only does she effortlessly mimic the singer's voice, but she practically embodies her too. Just the accuracy of the impersonation, especially when she starts to belt, leaves us with chills. We 
were thrilled to see her revisit the character during a Family Feud sketch the following episode, too. This parody is almost guaranteed to turn you into a Melissa monster. And it won't be long until you're demanding that someone give this woman an Emmy and a Grammy for this impression alone. I feel sexy when I'm on stage and I make the face of a lion that's about to pounce, like this. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. What's wrong with this picture? Mother's Day edition. Correctly guessing what's wrong with the picture might be the only thing she can't do. That beach will be gone in five years because of global warming. And it's my fault. I don't recycle my cans. I just throw them in the street. That is a swimming pool. Her uncanny Kristen Wiig impression on Celeb School Game Show. Did anyone else think that Wig was actually in the room? I'm sorry, I was just being weird, sorry. <laughs> I might do it again though, is that bad? Bedroom. Her sexy talk with Aziz Ansari isn't much better, but it is funny. You wanna see my didgeridoo? Oh yeah, show it to me, wow. Oh yeah? What's your name? Owen Wilson, baby. <laughs> Melissa Villasenor on Hispanic Heritage Month. We need more Melissa on Weekend Update. Why am I even here? I think to do sketch comedy? No, Colin. I'm here to bag a host and set Twitter on fire. Playing AOC. Is there any impression she can't master? You're trying to rip apart my Green New Deal? Leave me alone. I will dog walk you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Her Dolly Parton Impression Prior to her SNL days, Melissa was already an accomplished impressionist. But you ain't seen nothing until you've witnessed her Dolly Parton impression. It's the best time of the year. Now I don't know if there'll be snow, but have a cup of cheer. During this weekend update appearance, Melissa was supposedly meant to discuss her favorite Christmas songs. Instead, she used the opportunity to share her unbelievable Dolly Parton impression with us. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells all the way. I'm begging of you, please don't take Jolene. After all, who wouldn't want to be Dolly right now? She's the coolest. She's a great singer. She writes her own songs. She donated a million dollars to the vaccine. Hey? Not only did she look the part, but the moment you hear her sing will blow your mind. Even the country singer herself was impressed. If you closed your eyes, you would easily believe that the real Dolly Parton was on your screen. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.